What's going on, everyone? My name is JP. This is my wife, Jordana, and our kids, Aurelia and Odin. Back on our sixth wedding anniversary, we decided we wanted to buy an RV and see the country. Fast forward to March of 2021, we sold our house, ditched all our stuff, and hit the road for what we hope will be a journey filled with a lifetime of memories. We hope you will join us on this journey as we wander to get lost. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Monday, back in the RV after doing some errands this morning. Um, so one thing I am going to be doing, um, I guess you saw the extraction of the uh, old flooring and carpeting. You know that uh, the carpeting goes over that little half round that's underneath the slide and it kind of acts as like almost like a glide for it to glide over and sit on top of. Um, I've brought the slides in and out a few times and the aluminum of the bottom of the slide and the wood, it squeaks and doesn't move that well. So what I did is I went to Home Depot, I got some like outdoor carpet that I'm going to put over that wood and tack to the front of it with the nail gun. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to show you this, but I'll probably show you when I start doing it. But here's a piece of the carpet right here that I've already cut. So I'm actually gonna slide that under it, push the slide back out, tack it on the front, pull it tight behind, tack it from the back, and then do that on the wood piece here, the wood piece over here, and then also on these two sections. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do it under here because you can't even get to the wood, so uh, at least on the front half section this slide I can do easily. So. Um, I'm starting here in the bedroom area in the hallway because it's very easy to access those pieces. So I'm using this as a uh, learning curve. Also, the, the drawer for the clothing, for the kids' clothing, will hide that slide um, or hide that carpeting underneath there. So I'm going to test it out there first. So that, I think it's going to look good that way and I think it's going to... Um, eliminate the squeaking and the squealing of the uh, slides going out over that wood piece. Alright, so I'm gonna work on the back and hopefully this works out. Alright, oh, probably not. Alright, so I've slid the carpeting under there. I'm going to slide the slide out. Um, hopefully it stays in position and then I'm going to tack it with my nail gun in position. So, so far, so far, good. So what I'm going to do is basically right here butt it to the front of this and then we're going to pull it tight from the outside and then I'll fasten it from the outside and then we'll have this little finished edge over the uh, over the wood. So that's basically what I'm going for so uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna do that, and we'll. I'll meet you on the outside. So this corner pulled out a little bit. I'm gonna try and pull it back a little bit, but it, I can't nail it unless I somehow hold it. staple gun in there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah. I think that's as best as it's going to be. So, alright. There's the uh, staple down front edge. I'm going to now put the slide out and then uh, lock it down on the outside. All right, so here's the carpeting. You can see here's the, the floor of the RV here. 
and then I'm just going to come down here and just tack it as best I can. Uh, maybe corner tack it. Uh, and then I'll trim it because I got to leave uh, space for the uh, seal, the, uh, the rubber gasket. Three more to go. <laughs> All right, sorry, it's still dark, but that gray is the carpet. I put a lot over um, through. Uh, basically the same thing as when I took out the carpeting from underneath, I had to use the crowbar, crowbar and lift the slide up. Um, the issue that I have is under this slide, there's like this um, hard plastic that actually sits on top of that piece of wood. So, I had to push a lot of carpet through so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it all down and then trim it and I basically made this an 18 inch wide piece there's plenty of extra on the back and then I will uh, trim that off on the back and then we should be good this side will be done so yeah I'm gonna do that right now all right so that's all done now it's trimmed out and then you can see under here it's nice trimmed out so the floor will butt up against this and then obviously the drawer comes down and covers the whole thing so you're not even going to see that but um yeah i tested the slide it sounds really good now no squeaks on this side so uh this side is all done now to do uh the front so i'm gonna go inside real quick and just see how everybody's doing it's been a while it is now 5 20. um I would like to get this side done at least maybe one of the parts because I want to be able to floor everything tomorrow um, and get the flooring all the way done to the back wall which I, I can do but I gotta have that all done all right be back in a little bit